Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and in this video, we're gonna check out the Duet 2 audio interface for the Macintosh from Apogee Electronics. The first Duet set new standards for portable audio interfaces, and the Duet 2 adds some significant improvements. New features include OLED metering, redesigned mic pre's and converters, soft limiting, higher sample rates, touch pads, and more. Let's take a look while we put it to work recording the audio for our podcast in Logic Pro. In terms of aesthetics, the Duet 2 updates the look of the box beautifully. It's black and silver design reflecting the look of Apple's newer products. This makes sense considering that, like the original Duet, the Duet 2 only runs on the Mac platform. An exciting new development on the Duet 2 is the OLED screen. This full color screen gives you not only metering, but volume and other information. It's small, but easy to read, and frankly, it looks great. Unlike the first generation Duet, which used a Firewire port to connect to the computer, the Duet 2 uses a USB 2.0 connection to deliver even lower latencies. The USB bus also supplies power, although an external power supply is included should you need it. Most users, however, won't need it unless they're using the phantom power option and outputting high volume levels to low impedance headphones. The Duet 2 keeps the single encoding knob concept from the original Duet. Pressing the knob lets you move between functions and then serves as a level control both for inputs and outputs. In addition to the knob, the Duet 2 also gives you two touch pads on either side of the knob, and these are completely customizable. Not only can you set them to function as mutes, you can have the touch pads toggle other functions that weren't even available in the first generation Duet, like dimming the outputs, toggling the headphone source, and summing your stereo signal to mono. To customize the settings, you'll use the included Maestro 2 software. Maestro 2 also allows you to set up latency-free DSP monitor mixes when you record, eliminating the annoying delay you'd normally get monitoring through the computer. The Duet 2 still uses the breakout cable concept. If you're only using Duet 2 for headphone monitoring, you can remove the cables since you don't need it. When you're ready to record or hook up some monitors, you'll find the breakout cable has been improved over the first generation. The Duet 2 now has combination XLR quarter inch inputs for both line, mic, and instrument signals. Like the original Duet, the Duet 2 only allows you to record up to two tracks at a time. So while not the best interface for recording large ensembles, that's not what it's designed for. This is a highly portable interface designed more for laptop musicians on the go. For tracking a stereo keyboard or perhaps a singer and a guitar player at the same time though, it's great. It's also an excellent solution for musicians using a lot of virtual instruments and producers mixing in the box, so to speak. Apogee has focused their efforts on developing fantastic sounding mic pre's and converters to deliver outstanding audio fidelity. Another improvement, the quarter inch outputs on the breakout cable are now balanced for improved sound quality, especially important if your situation calls for longer cable runs. Now, a moment ago, I mentioned that you can set one of the touch pads to toggle the headphone source, and this leads us to another important new feature on the Duet 2, the separate headphone and speaker outs. Apogee was listening to their customers on this one, so now you can assign the stereo headphones and left and right speaker outputs to either of two stereo pairs or the DSP mixer. This opens up a couple of new options for users. For starters, now you can DJ with the Duet 2. Set your main output to the club to one pair and your headphones to the other, and now you have a separate cue mix. Cue up the next track in headphones without disturbing the main outs. I tried it out with Tractor and it worked great. Alternatively, you can also set up a cue mix for a musician that's completely separate from the studio monitors. So this is a great new feature on the Duet 2. Another major new development with the Duet 2 is the incorporation of soft limiting. Soft limiting will round off transient peaks before they reach the analog to digital converter, allowing you to record at hotter levels and giving you a warmer, more analog sound. Let's test it out. Okay, I cranked out my input and oh yeah, it's clipping all right. Now I'm gonna gauge soft limiting. I'll continue yammering and lo and behold, my dulcet tones are no longer clipping. Soft limiting won't save you if your input levels are ridiculously hot, but if you have a reasonable level going to your DAW, soft limiting will keep a few transients from ruining an otherwise perfect take. A couple more improvements to mention for the Duet 2 include a sampling rate up to 24-bit, 192 kHz on the redesigned converters, 
and improved mic preamps, still with up to 75 dB of gain. And of course, the Duet 2 has optional phantom power for microphones. An accessory to consider with the Duet 2 would be the breakout box from Apogee. It's a good option if you want to replace the travel-friendly breakout cable with a sturdier, more robust connector for more permanent situations like studio use, for example. It's got solid aluminum construction and a six and a half foot cable to keep those unsightly connections away from your beautiful interface. So hopefully that gives you a reasonable overview of this ultra portable USB 2.0 audio interface. Apogee's Duet 2 smartly keeps the best aspects of the highly regarded original Duet, but enhances them with an OLED screen, touch pads, improved audio quality, and more. For more information on the Apogee Electronics Duet 2 USB 2.0 audio interface or any of our other audio interfaces, visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. And as always, thanks for watching.